Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm trying something new today with a POV kind of style video. Today I will be reviewing and building the Akko Mod 007 V3. An $105 aluminium gasket mounted custom keyboard kit that supports via, south facing and 5 pin switches with a knob. Before I start this video I want to say a big thanks to Akko for sending this stuff out for review. Everything I use in this video has been sent out from Akko and I am very, very grateful to them. I will also leave product links to everything I have used in this video in the description below if you want to purchase any of it for yourself. I will be pairing this board with Akko's V3 Cream Yellow Pro switches, which I think are sublime. I will talk more about those later. In the box of the board, you get a quick startup guide, a pretty nice feeling coil cable, the stabs and screws for the board and the knob. Not to mention the board itself, PCB and plate options. You get two types of plate in this box, an FR4 plate and a polycarbonate plate. I chose to opt for the polycarb plate as it fits more of my type of preferred typing feel. As for the switches I used in this build, as I previously mentioned, I used the Akko V3 Cream Pro yellow switches. These are a linear switch with a 50 gram operating force and a total travel of 3.3 millimeters with a price of 20 cents per switch or $9.45 pieces. This makes them in the budget range, but boy, do they not feel like it. These are so smooth stock and out of the box. Just listen to this. Nice. I also do have the Akko V3 Silver Pro switches as well, but those are for a separate video coming soon. Finally, the keycaps which were sent out were the World Tour London ASA Profile keycap set. And being a fellow bottle of water drinker myself, this was right up my alley. I have always wanted to try some higher profile keycaps as I have only tried Cherry and OEM Profile in the past. I was struggling to open it till I realised there was a hinge. And wow, these keycaps have more of a dark green, white and dark orangey mango kind of colour and it really does look nice. The legends on these are crisp and to my knowledge none of the legends are really off centre. It's also a nice thicker kind of keycap which means it adds nicely to that deeper sound profile. Don't even get me started on the novelty keycaps included. Is that a double decker bus? The crown jewels? The London eye? And they have them in orange as well? Oh my lord. I'm gonna go put this final keycap on like a champ here. Look at me go. And so the build is complete. I had a blast building this board and thanks again to Akko for sending the items out for review. Now I can't let you go without a little sound test, can I? So here you go. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.